A very good day. Welcome to BNC African News Feed. Compliments to the new season. I'm Tanaka Kosa and your stories are as follows. The University of Cape Town has said that a study recently conducted by the institution shows that the Presidential Stimulus Program has had a significant impact in bridging the unemployment gap. According to UCT, the study was commissioned by the Presidency to investigate the domestic factor income effects of the Presidential Youth Employment Initiative. The program mostly focused on giving term employment opportunities to youth in the public sector. UCT has said that it found that the pandemic exuberated already high levels of unemployment and deepened poverty. The institution has already lauded the government on its commitment to spend on social programs such as social grants in the country with over 4 million youth that are unemployed. On to this story, ANC President Sir Ramaphosa said should the party win the upcoming elections, it will focus on six priorities to help grow the country's economy. Ramaphosa says that he is addressing thousands of party supporters at the Moses Mabida Stadium in Durban as the ANC hosts the manifesto launch. South Africans will take to the polls on the 29th of May for the general elections with different political parties detailing what they will do for the country should they win. Ramaphosa said that the party is renewing its mandate to continue providing the quality, improving and also providing quality of life in the country. And lastly, opposition parties criticise the finance minister in Okorongwana's budget, slamming ANC's lack of economic growth plan and infrastructure strategy. Opposition parties were yesterday mostly damning Finance Minister Ino Kwarongwane's budget. DA Shadow Minister of Finance Dr. Dion George said the budget was another indication of a panicking ANC government that has no plan to accelerate economic growth, resolve relentless blackouts, stabilize debt, and re-alliance the runaway expenditures and support vulnerable South Africans and exuberate corruption. The DA notes that the minister's announcement of government support for private and public partnerships to rebuild South Africa's crumbling infrastructure were failing. Yet there is still no noticeable absence of adherent plan to fast track the initiative. He said that he also knows that there are apparently no further direct blackouts to state-owned enterprises and no additional funds allocated for the doomed NHI. From BNC African News Speed, I'm Tandika Gosa. Thanks so much for watching.